Hi guys, Dave and Ghost here. I'd like to talk a little bit about a running friendly argument that uh, some friends of mine and I have been having. And uh, basically it's been knife or machete. Um, maybe a scenario or, or a situation where you know, I, I grab my pack and I take off, whether it be for camping or a bug out scenario or whatever. I'm, I'm spending time in the woods and for one reason or another, I have forgotten either my bush knife or my machete. What would I rather have with me? Well, <clears throat> for, the, for the most part, I've been knife. I would rather have my knife. It's a, a, a good bush knife is important when you're spending any real amount of time in the woods. And my Buck Selkirk has been a good bush knife. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know, I, I, I use it all the time when I'm camping, and uh, I don't use the machete that often. I, I really don't. Uh, sure, I process some firewood with it, this, that, the other thing, um, but for the most part, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a handy addition to my pack. Um, and I have my folding saw as well, so, I need to take down a tree, my folding saw, I, I, I don't generally carry an axe. The machete takes place of the axe and the hatchet uh, for the most part. So, uh, but the, uh, the, the conversation, I guess, it, it sort of evolved over to, oh, okay, well, you, you have one cutting tool. You're... You don't have your, your folding saw. You don't have, you know, any of that. You have one cutting tool. And I I guess they were trying to win an argument. And I was being a little bit stubborn about it. Um, but recently, I've been watching this guy. And I'm going to try to tag him in this video so that he can see it. Uh, his name is uh, Dave Pearson. Um, and his channel on YouTube is called Fun in the Woods. And uh, his handle, I guess you would call it, is uh, Really Big Monkey One. Um, that guy seems to, to just love his machetes. Uh, he is definitely a machete over bush knife uh, kind of guy, as, as I understand it. Um, and I've been watching a lot of his stuff. Really, really, really good channel. Um, I really enjoy it. So, if you happen to be watching this, uh, Mr. Pearson, uh, you know, thanks for the entertainment. Uh, great channel. Keep up the good job. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, and I know a lot of other people are. Uh, you're, uh, you're, you're awesome, man. I, I really like it. Um, but anyway. Come on. So. We just had uh, a visit. Bunch of uh, bunch of dogs came in, swarmed in on us, and uh, uh, there was a King Corso and uh, I think a French Poodle and I don't know whatever else. I but uh, yeah, we we just had a, a little bit of fun, and uh, now back to work. So I was uh, I was talking about um, knife versus machete, and. Uh, about uh, how I've always maintained, you know, I'm 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 the bush knife kind of guy. I'd rather have, you know, a knife over machete. Um, but watching uh, Fun in the Woods uh, with Dave Pearson, um, he he doesn't just sit here and talk and prattle on like I do. He's actually doing stuff. 
he's he's bushcrafting and he's uh, sort of teaching by example, I guess, uh, kind of thing. And uh, the, he's using his machetes all the time. He's talking about his machetes. He's he, he definitely seems to be a machete guy. And uh, honestly, he he changed my mind in a scenario where I have one cutting tool. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm switched over. I'm, I'm now a machete guy. So, you know, uh, a lot of guys, uh, like to carry knives kind of like this. Um, this is similar to, uh, a knife made by Mora. Um, this knife was actually made in the 1960s. Uh, it was my granddad's bush knife and I have it on my pack for, uh, for good luck, I guess. Um, I tend to go for something a little bit more robust. Um, it's got a good solid pommel on it. Uh, you can hammer in nails with this thing. And, and I'm more of a, a more robust kind of knife kind of guy. But machete, what I have chosen is a kukri. These things are awesome. I don't carry a, an axe or a hatchet. I carry this um, in a self-defense scenario. These notches, right in the blade area there, right, right, right in the end, they're actually blood grooves. They're designed so that blood will pool and drip before it hits the handle, compromising your grip. So in a self-defense scenario, you're not gonna get blood all over your handle and start losing. Which, a little gory, I understand, but that's that's what those are for. That's what those are for. These these were actually designed for that. Um, also, the sharpness starts about here, right? So if I absolutely had it had to. Uh, and it's not the safest thing to do. I do not recommend this. But if I had to, I could choke up and I could do what I gotta, you know, as long as you're, okay, they're all gone now. They're all gone now. No more play time. It's work time now. So, on, on the standpoint of a machete, I like the kukri. It's, it's, it's got a lot of very, very good uh, practicality um, and this thing, I've taken down trees with this. This thing will chop. Uh, the, the blade thickness is, uh, I don't know if it's, it's probably a little more than a lot of machetes. Maybe it's average for uh, some of the other guys, but, uh, I mean, it's high carbon steel. This is a, I think it was made by windless. Think, but I've, it's since worn off. It was. Oh. Okay, so it's almost worn off. And yep, windless. Okay, so made by windless, high carbon steel. Um, very, very sharp. The 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 way that it's shaped is 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 good for hacking and uh, whatever. So I don't carry an axe or a hatchet, anything like that. It's. You know, it's, it's an all-around good tool. So, to, uh, to my friends that I've been having this uh, discussion with, yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've changed my mind. I've switched over. Oh, the big spider. Mm -hmm. um, I, I am now a machete kind of guy. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, both that and knives like that have their place. Um, those, the, the guys who love their moras, love their moras. That's not a mora, that was made in Finland in the 60s, that's, but it's similar. I, I like my buck knives, I, I really, really do. Um, but, yeah, uh, because of some of my friends' arguments, just a few of them, not, not many. Don't, uh, don't get a swelled head, guys. 
Mostly it's because of Dave Pearson. I'm now a machete guy. So, oh, my dog wants to uh, go and find the, uh, the friends he was playing with, and uh, I doubt we will, but you never know. So, uh, uh, it's getting close to dinner time anyway. We're going to sign off here. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and share. Uh, subscribe. Drop me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think. Knife or machete? And why? You know. Okay, bud. Have a good one, guys.